house because it's a little too high fashion for me, and it does this whole like thing. See it? Oh yeah, oh, I see. There's a piece. But just there, yeah. trust me that it's because it's so hip that it's doing that. Well, it looks it's great. It's a good thing. It, look, it looks good. It looks Thank good. you. Good to Thank see you again. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Congratulations on all the success of your show, too. That's Thank wonderful. Thank you. Now, you had a big weekend. What, your sister got married until? My sister got married. Now, we're here in... My sister got married. My one sister, my older sister, I'm now the last in the entire family. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. A lot of pressure there? A lot of, It's not pressure. It's a lot of, like, sad looks. It's a lot of, like, oh, hi, sweetie. Oh, How are your dogs? A lot of that. Yeah. Such an ugly duckling, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, really, really? Did, did the relatives really do that? Are you? They're ju they're very kind about it. It's that kindness you know, that just killed. You know, it's just, no. You know what they say? It was so funny because after my sister got married, and it was a beautiful ceremony, and it yeah. was so sweet. And I'm, I'm saying we're on the beach in Cabo San Lucas, and I'm crying, and she's dancing with my dad, and it's so sweet. And David, her husband, I can barely say it, my sister's husband, his mother came up behind me, and she said, "Well, are you next?" And I was like, "I don't know." She said, "It's okay. You have till you're 40." You can be a loner. <laughs> She's the oracle of the wedding, and I'm just this matron with a hundred cats. That's my new vision of myself. <laughs> Should be the spinster. Yeah, right. Well, I hold that. You're not. What are you? Twenty-six. I'm uh, seventeen. Oh, seventeen. <laughs> well, you're not even thirty. So I'm excited. I'm almost eighteen, and then yeah. I can vote, and that'll be fun, yeah. I think. Well, you know, Don was was thirty-eight when he married. Would you like to go to camp? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If there was ever a case that was hopeless, so look, 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 look at it. There's always hope, Courtney. Yeah, thank you so much. No, was your sister nervous? Just keep hunting. Was she scared? Was it? Oh, she was. She was very nervous, but she handled it beautifully, and we're all happy. And she had to take, do this huge walk down to the beach. It was at right. sunset, and they were getting married down by the water. And she's walking down, and she's with my dad. And this is what happened. And I didn't hear all of it, but she said that she turned to my dad and she said, "Dad, I'm so scared. Please, you gotta give me some some words of wisdom." And Dad said, "Okay, sweetie." How do you sell a deaf man a duck? And all we heard was, Wanna buy a duck? And they're walking down the aisle. <laughs> Sounds like yeah. a fun wedding. I know. It was. I, I, I think the old man's ready for the home. I'm saying that. Wanna we buy really a duck? It's a serious occasion. <laughs> we don't really understand it in my family. <laughs> yeah. What did you get? What did your sister get for a wedding? Get feathers? <laughs> now you go ahead and chat with him. Right, right, right. Isn't he like every guy that's sick next to you at the bar? That you want to drink? Isn't he like the salesman from Dubuque? Hi, hi, honey, why are you? He's only 17. That. Give her a break, huh? You don't fool around, right, do you? Now you're my favorite. Oh, now thank you, Courtney. Keep saying that. Oh, uh, you good. are. You're, you're my good. favorite, too. That's good. 40 years ago, we could have worked something out. <laughs> now I just sit on the couch and go, I got movement. <laughs> Now let me ask you something. I'm going to yes. you. were spotted yes. by one of our staff members at the Price Club. <gasps> really? Yes. It's For my those who don't know, place. the Price Club is like a, it's like a warehouse where you. you where, it, it, Do you not have Price Club Costco? Yeah. Yes. 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 It's like a membership yes. thing. Yeah, it's a members only thing. Oh, so it's, it's pretty exclusive. Thing. Just show I found people. out when I went back and let a friend sign up on my membership. I wasn't actually supposed to be able to join, oh. but the guy recognized me, so I'm kind. I kind of snuck in there. Oh, so what do you? I mean, do you buy? Toilet paper in the gross ton, that kind of I have like 74 rolls of toilet paper in every bathroom in my house. I have pens. I haven't run out of a pen in two years. No, no, why do you, you, you're single. Why do you need to go to the price club and buy things in It bulk? makes absolutely no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. I have a completely run, running out. Like if one day I ran out of a light bulb, I'd buy like 30 at the price club and it will never run out. Just oh, I see it. I hoard it because one good thing about being single is that there's no one else to put stuff in my house. Yeah, yeah. So I have covers and covers. Like Tupperware, I've got every size, like from this to this. Have you bought that set yet? You know, I think I understand why you're single now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm beginning to understand. It's all coming together, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think you're actually going to be very happy. Yeah. <laughs> but you, we do have a common interest. We both like bad TV because we talked about this the last time, remember? Yeah. We about we like my, mother, to watch my mother's afraid no one's going to know I read. So I read. So, you know, so mom, it's okay. Everybody knows now. Yeah. But we like, what, what is your example of like a good, bad TV Burke's show? Burke's Law. Burke's Law? Burke's Law is my favorite, favorite TV show. Yeah. Now, no, why is that? Okay. Uh, this is absolutely perfect. There's an episode that was actually about a late night talk show. Right where um, Ed McMahon played the rival talk show host, which is brilliant. Isn't that brilliant? And Rue McClanahan was the widow. And Corey Feldman was her son. And Tracy Scoggins was the brilliant head writer. It's brilliant casting, isn't it? 
I mean, I just sit there delighted. Every time a drawer opens, there's somebody else with a new brilliant job. You're alone a lot, aren't you, Courtney? <laughs> I want to find out what books you've been reading, too. We'll talk about that next time. Anyway, Courtney, congratulations on your show. Thank you, you so It's a great much. success. You do a Thank terrific you. job. Thank Courtney, you. Courtney, thanks. We'll be right back with Aaron Neville right after this.